Family, I took a trip today over to my local Dollar Tree store and I picked up a whole bunch of goodies. So give me a second and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put together for us some MREs. Give me a few minutes. I'll start unpacking and I'll explain a little bit more about what I plan on doing. Stay tuned. Hello family. This is me, Mary C, coming to you yet again with another video. And this time around, I, uh, as I mentioned beforehand, I went over to the Dollar Tree and I came back with a bunch of goody, goody, goodies. And what I want to do is I in in a few minutes I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you the items that I was able to pick up and um, what I picked them up specifically for was so that I could create for you guys so that you could see that we could put it together using Dollar Tree for the most part Dollar Tree items and that is an M R E meals ready to eat so let me tell you before I go over and turn before I turn the, the camera around and show you the items that I picked up let me tell you this for as long as I can remember I have had visions um, that always placed soldiers on our um, our neighborhood blocks if you will Pretty much these soldiers were, I don't know whether they were um, our, so our military or foreign uh, soldiers. I don't recall um, because again, I've had this, this vision or dreams, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, they're dreams if you're sleeping and visions if you're awake. So I've had both uh, of this, this type, I should say. And... Uh, Pretty much every time these soldiers were in the vision or dream, every time we saw them, um, it was myself and always someone else was with me, whether it be family members or, or you know people I just didn't know. We were always hiding. Let me know in the comments section if you've had experiences like this. We were always hiding and uh, in most of my visions, I was always up in a upper room and I want to say something similar to like an attic but it was an attic that had a window that faced the uh, the street and I could hear the soldiers talking and they were going door to door they were going door to door and they were looking for people so I could hear them talking and I could see them from the window from this window but they couldn't see me and again, we were always hiding. So um, when we were hiding, there were several times in this, this, these visions that I had that these soldiers came really close. I mean, when I say they came really close, they were within the same room that uh, we were in. But they never saw us. They never saw us. We always saw them. We could hear them. But they never saw saw us so we were never found and again we were hiding out and there had to be a specific reason that we felt uh we needed to hide there was danger and i could sense the danger and and uh had a little bit of fear uh are they gonna find us are they gonna, they're gonna they're gonna catch us because we're in a room they're in the same room and they wouldn't see us so it wasn't until the later years and uh I begin to uh, see television shows like uh, Star Trek, Stargate, and uh, that type of, of uh, show that I realized that when these soldiers came into the area that we were in and they couldn't see us, it was because somehow or another, and I'm going to tell you this, somehow or another is, is very spiritual. We were cloaked, cloaked. So there was a shield that was around us that made us invisible. 
And you know that there couldn't have been anybody other than uh, the Most High who was hiding us. So that we could get from our location because we were, we were traveling. And so it was so that we could get from one location to the next location and get there safely. That is how he was able to do it. He would cloak us. He would, he would put an invisible shield around about us. I don't know if they were angels' wings or what. I couldn't see them. All I know is that we were safe. We were safe. When the soldiers would come up the stairs, you could hear them coming up the stairs. They, you know, making making sounds coming up the stairs. You could hear it, and and I can remember my heart just, you know, just boom, 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 and and not sure if this was going to be the moment they were going to find us, and it never happened. They, if in every one of them, we were hidden. In every one of them, we were hidden and we were safe. So, anyways, but we were on the road and we had to travel. So. Getting back to the MREs, if circumstances get to the point where you and I have to leave our homes and head towards a safe haven, MREs will be perfect for that type of a situation. These are meals that are, are uh, ready to eat. You don't have to heat them up. In the event that you do have to heat them up, uh, and they require water. What I'll do is I'll show you uh, a meal that you can take with you or put together in a package. And I'm going to try to put together a package that would, would be a full day's meal. Okay, a full day's meal. And I'm going to try to kind of sneak in a little bit something that I haven't seen anybody else talk about. And that is a meal pack for a child. Usually I see people talking about it. They're talking about meals for usually adults. So I'm I'm going to try to also include a meal pack for children. So why don't I just get started with turning the camera around and showing you what I have. I was trying to figure out the best way that I could uh, show you what I have here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you everything and then after I've shown you everything, then I will try to put one uh, package together, if you will, and uh, take it from there. So one of the, the things that I was able to, to purchase, and I'm gonna move this one to the side because I already opened that one up, but, and I've got a bunch of these. And these are, I showed you these uh, uh, in another video, and someone asked me where I picked them up at. I picked this up over at the Dollar Tree. Uh, the majority of the items that I have here today, I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So now this, if you if you have electricity for the most part, as I said beforehand, this is one of those 60 second um, uh, uh, meals that you put in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, the suggestion for heating this up would be to put it in hot water for about five minutes, and that's all you would need to, to warm it up. But if you cannot warm it up, if you don't have the time to do that, I wanted to check to see if this is a, a meal that you can actually just eat right out of the pack. And so I opened it up, opened one up to test it out. Now, they had, uh, they had a few flavors of this, varieties, not flavors, I guess, a few varieties of this one. This one here is the Hawaiian bowl. And so they had like a, the box they had set up, six in a box. So I just bought the whole box, and I'll show you this one in a minute, but I just bought a box of six of the Hawaiian ones. I'm gonna move this to the side, put it back here. And I got, uh, more of the, the Greek bowl one. So I'll show you that. Same thing, same procedure for, for heating it up if you wanted to heat it up uh, or eat it cold if you're going to eat it cold. So I got six of those guys. And I'm going to move that out of the way to the side. Again, I wanted to try it out to see what it was like. And so I opened it. 
and I'm probably going to spill some. But there you have it. This is the Hawaiian blend. It has a uh, sweet, because I believe there's pineapples in this one here. It has a sweet taste to it. It has rice, potatoes, peas, pineapples, and it's in brown rice. So it's not too bad. Not too bad to taste. And it's 360 calories per pouch. So you can eat it right out of the pouch. I'll put that to the side. So that would be one of the uh, one of the main main meals that would go in one of these uh, meals for the day. MREs. So, and then I also found I only found one of this one. I, I could not find any more. They only had the one. But this is another one. That is, if you if you like uh, Indian food, this is um, deli potatoes, and. It is pretty much heated up the same way that you would heat the uh, the Hawaiian bowl or the um, what was it the Greek bowl that I have. So you would heat this up the same way. If you have hot water, you can put this in hot water for about five minutes, and you've got a another meal. Okay. So, but again, they only had the one, and I haven't tried this one out yet. I I, I am looking forward to trying it out because I bet it's going to be pretty good. But anyways, there's another meal for you that is ready to eat, would be ready to eat if you could eat it cold. So I picked up, uh, I saw some of the, the military ones have Pop-Tarts in them, which I kind of scratched my head on, and I'll tell you why I kind of scratched my head on that. If you've ever packed um, Pop-Tarts for your kids uh, to take on a trip anywhere, uh, by the time they get to their uh, destination, they're all crumbled up and in pieces. So I was kind of surprised to see that the military actually has like pop tarts in their in their MREs. Well, oh well, if it works for them, I mean it works. So, yours truly picked up some uh, generic. They're not pop tarts. They're what toast and pop ups, dollar store uh, variety. And there are six pastries in here, and I bet they're wrapped up just like pop tarts, which they are. So you have two just like the, reg the regular ones, or the brand name ones, you have two in a uh, foil pack. So that would be a good breakfast pill for on the go kind of a breakfast. Then I, I was able to find these guys here, what, which are biscuits, and they're bre bre say that fast, uh, say that fast several times. This is uh, a biscuit, 115 calories, and I didn't give you calories for this one here. For two of these pastries, it's 390 calories. Now, what I'm understanding is that you want your calorie intake to be high, which is totally opposite of what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to lose weight. But when you're on the go, you want your stamina to stay up, so you want to put the calories in so that you have the energy to keep moving, which makes sense. So, uh, 390 for this here, uh, 170, no, 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 I'm sorry, 340 for this pouch if you're going to eat the whole thing. And uh, this one is 360 for the entire pouch. Okay, and I think I gave you this at 170, did I say? No. Two biscuits would be 115 calories for the breakfast. Um, let me go next to, since I did the breakfast, you know what, instead of doing uh, the snack, I'm going to bring you back to meals. Because if you wanted to, to go with the meals that I had back there, we have tuna. You can get these, all of this. Until I get to something that doesn't that I didn't get at the dollar store, all of these items came from the dollar store. So this is a herb and garlic uh, tuna, and it would be a great protein if you needed it to go with one of the uh, vegan uh, or vegetarian vegetarian uh, meal packs. 
either that or the rice bowl or the, uh, the Greek bowl. And uh, you could add tuna possibly to it. And this tuna pack is, for this pouch, is 110 calories. And now I'm going to go into the snacks because this, is, this, is, this would be considered a snack. This is uh, tuna in a can, and it has crackers to go along with it. It's more, more like a tuna salad because it's got the, uh, the mayonnaise and the mayonnaise mix in it, in this right here pack. But it has crackers to go along with it. So now to eat this and to, uh, for this, the calories for this is 230 for the tuna and then 80 for the package of uh, crackers. So we're trying to make sure that we keep that uh, calorie count up. But not only that, we're trying to, trying to make sure that we have items that you can eat right out of the package. So we have the tuna. Now, if you didn't like the flavor of one, of, let's say if you had one of these or if you had noodles, plain noodles, and you wanted to add some flavor to them. Uh, I got these guys here. So if you wanted to add a little bit different taste to the Greek bowl or to the Hawaiian bowl, you, they had uh, these cheese sauce packages. You just open them up and pour it over your, your, uh, your rice and you've got a different uh, flavor going on there. And these were a dollar over at the dollar store, a dollar over at the dollar store. But these were over at the dollar store as well. And I thought that was pretty neat because I mean, if you don't use it for these guys here, you could use it for something else. Um, and it's, you know, it's ready to eat out of the package as well. So I'm gonna take it. I, I know it looks like it's a mess here. So then I'm gonna get back to these guys here. These are healthy green, peanut butter, dark chocolate, um, like granola bars, if you will. So here's something if you're looking for something that's fairly healthy. See if you can see that. So it's like 100% whole grain. And for this, I'm just trying to see how many calories. This bar is 150 calories. So you can add that to your, your uh, MRE. And of course, you want to make sure you include your utensils. So I got the plastic forks. And here's a little tip. Now, I, these I did not get at the dollar store. I wish they did have these little packages like this. If you eat out and you order a meal that comes with the little salt and pepper packs, save them. I save the salt and pepper and I save the ketchup and mustard and uh, mayonnaise or whatever else that uh, we get as condiments um, from the different restaurants that we may frequent. And so keep these guys because they'll come in handy. And uh, that's where this came from. This came from, from a, a restaurant that we frequented and they gave us these and we didn't use them. So I put them to the side for such a time as this. And then of course, they have these smaller, you know, you can get the, the bigger packages of the uh, wet wipes. But for the case of putting together an MRE, I figured that we probably need something a little bit smaller. So I picked up these guys, and this is a two pack, two wipes pack uh, box. And I got this over at the dollar store. And uh, it's a total of 30 wipes, but it comes in with two small packs like this which I thought was pretty neat. So this, this would go in one of the MREs too, so that you, when you get finished, you can wash your hands or wipe your hands down. Um, oh, I'm passing up some stuff. So if you need, for breakfast, if you needed your coffee, or you wanted to have your coffee, they had these guys over there. Um, this is house blend, and there are six packs in here. So long as you have hot water, you can have coffee. So long as you have water of any kind, you can have one of the drink to go singles. And uh, this one here says that it has uh, vitamin C in it, so it's not all bad. Uh, so you, ha you can have your coffee, you can have your drinks to go, whether it be, uh, what is this one? Pink lemonade, cherry 7 up, or even an apple cider blend, a spiced apple cider. So that you would have your drink mixes 
for either breakfast or your dinner, lunch, meal. Also, I picked up these crackers. Um, and these would go along for snacks. So I got those. And I also got them open this up too. That can go in these meals. Now, these could qualify for adults or children. Okay. And these are, wow, these little graham crackers, graham cracker cookies are 130 calories. So that's 130 calorie snack. And the cheddar cheese crackers are 95 calories per pack. So, and this was, this is really a, a pretty good value because I got, I got this nine pack for one dollar and this 10 pack same thing one dollar so that's a pretty good deal i thought it was a pretty good deal for putting something like this together if you have little ones little girl mermaid uh fruit snacks and there are six pouches in here at 60 calories six pouches in the dinosaur one and let me see. And these are 70 calories. So I picked those up. So if you have children or grandchildren, you want to make sure that they have something that they can snack on too. Or if you're an adult and you like them, hey, go for it. And then also animal crackers. And, and you don't have to put all of this in, but you do want to try to make sure that your calorie intake is, is high. It's fairly high. I want to say that I saw maybe 3,000 to 4,000. Uh, calories for your day and this one here is 110 calories for the pack and if that isn't enough crackers I've got more crackers for you snack time crackers so I don't know how many crackers are actually in this pack but this box had has six of them just like this Okay, so there's six of those in there and this pack is 210 calories for this I have to have it upside down 210 calories for this guy and again I'm trying to go for for the most part uh, items that you can you can grab you can open and you can eat on the go if you had have, have to uh, with the exception of the hot uh, drinks. If you have a bottle of water or have access to water, you can use the cooler ones or, you know, the, the Seven Up and the Pink Lemonade, the Cherry Seven Up and the Pink Lemonade. However, for these guys here, you would need, for the coffee and apple cider, you would need to have hot water available. And to go along with the hot water, having the hot water available, you would also want to have it for this type of a, um, a meal, okay? And again, if you have access to hot water, and I believe you could just heat whatever you're gonna heat up um, and put the hot water in here and use the pack as your bowl. And I don't think it would hurt for you to add a pack or two of the tuna to one of these guys. I think it would be great one of these guys too when you have something like a tuna casserole almost so but again these would require hot water along with tea if you were going to do the tea so the tea the coffee and the cider would require hot water these are not really would would not really be considered uh, um, meals that are ready to eat because you still have to have the hot water to heat. You can't just eat them out of the pack like that. So, and I'll tell you, I did. I tried something. Um, I tried to do what the uh, how the uh, do a meal like the military meals are are done, and uh, they use the little uh, heater 
They have the little heater in the packs. So I was trying to think, well, what can we use uh, that we could uh, heat the meal up uh, without purchasing uh, one of those uh, heaters that they have in those uh, their MREs? Well, I tried using the hand warmers to see if I could get it to uh, to go. It was a fail. It was it was a fail. Um, those guys, you open up the pack, you have to shake it up for about 30, uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Shake, shake, shake. I got tired of shaking after a while. It got hot, but it didn't get hot, hot like that so that uh, it would be hot enough to heat the the meal up. And what I did was I was trying to, I, I shook it up really good, put two of them in, one on the front, one on the back, and, and wrapped it in aluminum foil just to try it out to see how hot the uh, the, it would make the container, but it, it, it didn't really get hot at all, so it was a fail. But I will keep trying to find something that I can use to heat up uh, food similar to how the military does it. I will keep trying, and if I find something, I will let you guys know. Um, so, I'm probably going on long again again. I always do that, don't I? Anyhow, I picked up these guys. Can you see that? I picked these guys up. I thought it was a good idea to include uh, one of these in one of the meal packs. And it is a mini toothbrush. And it, you see what it says here? Can you see that? It says, no water needed. No water needed. So you can use this, brush your teeth, and you don't need water to, to do it. So I thought that was a pretty good, uh, these weren't in the, these were not, the type of things that were in the military ones, but I just thought, you know, I added this is this is this is me, Mary Mary C, adding to the uh, already set up packages. I'm, I'm I'm improving it, if you will. I'm improving it. So anyhow, I got that, and and I got something else. If you have little people, um, while you're cooking or getting their their meals ready for them to uh, settle down, I figured that you could. Add these into their their meal packs. Just something for fun, just for the fun of it. So again, like I said, I have not seen any MREs set up for children. So I'm doing the first one because I haven't seen them. I'm doing the first one that you could put together for your little ones. Do it yourself. And make sure you put something in there that's going to be a little bit fun for the kids because they're going to probably be stressed out enough with everything going on. Put a little fun in there for them. Anyhow, so now let's try to put a meal together. And once you put the meal together, some of this, I'm going to move the camera a little bit back, okay, guys? So hopefully everything is, is good. We're good. We're good. I'm sorry about the light. If I turn it down, it looks really dark in here, so I can't really do anything about that. Um, but let me say this. I have, I brought out, I'm going to move these. I brought out my food savers so that you can kind of see. So once you decide what type of meal that you want to put together, how do you preserve them? So, I'm going to show you. You would use one of these guys. I don't know if you've seen them before. But this is a food saver vacuum packaging system. Um, I've had mine for uh, some years now. And I believe I bought this one at uh, Amazon. And it comes with a, a roll of bags, if you will. And it, once you plug it in and it heats up, you will seal the bags. You'll seal whatever you're going to put in it in the bag using the, the food saver. And there are tons. I, I'm not going to give you instructions on how to do that right now. I'm just showing you this is what, one of the things that you would use to vacuum seal your MREs. Uh, and that way you can put them in your bug out bags, uh, your get home, not get home bags, your bug out bags uh, when you're on the road and needing to run. So this is one, and there are different different varieties, different brands of food savers. This is just one. I got this. This is my smaller one, and then I have a bigger one. So some of you may have this guy, and again, this one has has the roll up here for the the bags. Um, so it just just I just want to show you that these guys would work really really well 
at sealing your MREs. So if you have one of these, that is like the perfect thing to try to use. Perfect thing to try to use. So I'm gonna grab a plate. Not that we need one because we're not gonna be eating, but I'm gonna grab a plate and I'll do one for an adult. I'm gonna get another one. And let's do one for a child. And you know what I didn't mention? I have some more goodies here. I have Mentos candy and I have some more chocolate. My husband is a chocolate holic so he loves his chocolate so we have to have chocolate for him. <laughs> we have to have his chocolate too. So anyhow, so if we were going to do a meal what would we do? Okay let's just put one together and I'll put one together with some of the things items that I like. I'll do that first and then I'll do one for for the, the, the kids. Okay. So I'm going to include my toothbrush in a pack. I'm going to include, and it's supposedly supposed to be just enough for one day. So we're going to do the one day. So I'm going to put my drink, drink mix in. I'm going to go for the Hawaiian bowl is my meal pack. I'm going to put in one of the granola snacks. I will put in one of the, I guess I should have opened these up beforehand. But I wanted to show you that you could just go over to the, uh, to the dollar store and get what you need. So here's my breakfast bar and okay this is just one pack so we're gonna take and we're gonna put that here. So we got we got two and crackers, we got a, a breakfast bar, we got a snack granola, we got our, our drink mix and I might as well put in a tea for breakfast to go with that. So I'm gonna put a tea in. And what am I missing? So I got one meal. I got a snack with the crackers, somewhat of a meal. Um, I'm gonna throw in some of these cheddar to extend my tuna salad kit. So I'll have that with that. So I'm gonna throw that in. And let's see. What else would I like to have? Got my breakfast biscuit. I think I'm gonna throw in some of the animal crackers. What do you think? You think I've got enough? You think I've got enough for a meal here? Or should I add more? I think I'm going to add in I said my husband was a chocoholic. I like chocolate too, but not as much as he does. So I'm gonna throw in, I'm gonna throw in a crunch. The crunch bar and of course my wet wipes. So I think that, that would that would do it for one of the MREs for the day. For an adult. For an adult. Now let's let's do one for the for, for a child. And I'm gonna move mine. You know what? I'm not. I'm gonna leave it right here because I'm gonna use the same thing. So for a child. Wet wipes. Absolutely, right? And for the child, uh, as far as the food, let's do another one of the Hawaiian bowls. Cause like I said, it's kind of, it has the, the kind of a sweet taste to it. So I think the kids would like that. They probably won't eat this whole thing. 
but let's put it in there for them. It's, we'll get a Pop-Tarts for the kids. So we got a breakfast and uh, we're gonna do some We'll do some fruit snacks. So we'll put in a fruit snack for them. We got their meal. Let's give them some crackers. What kind of crackers do we want to give them? We'll do a granola for them as well. We need granola. Toothbrush, toothpaste. We're going to do some of the pink lemonade for them. So we put the drink to go there. And uh, we got fruit snack, drink to go. Oh. I only brought one up for demonstration purposes, but we would give one, give the kids one of these uh, on-the-go, on-the-run tuna salad kits as well. So they have that and some extra crackers. And you know what I bet would be good with those crackers? If the kids would dip those crackers in this cheese sauce. So let's give the kids some cheese sauce. So how are we doing for the kids? You think we did pretty good with them? So we got breakfast. We got a pseudo lunch and we have a dinner for the kids. We have one drink here um, and I, if we have the water, plain water, I would do plain water mostly for them and then uh, this would be an extra. So they've got a granola bar, they have snack uh, with the fruit snack and then they have the additional crackers. So, do we want to give them some candy? We'll get some candy. We'll give them a couple of mentos. They're little packages. So we'll give them a couple of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, since we have the dinosaurs, we're going to go with this one here. And we're going to put the cards in the kids' MRE. What do you think? All of this can be purchased at the dollar store and you will have an MRE. Go out and Google MRE meals uh, for uh, the military ones. There, there's a few of them that are out there, but go out and Google them and they're fairly expensive. Frugal me says, no way am I going to spend that kind of money uh, for my meal plan. I'm just not going to do it if I don't have to. And you don't have to either. So, you can get the majority of your items, if you're going to do it yourself, from the dollar store. So you don't have to break the bank. And again, I uh, think about the times that I, the visions that I've had and thinking on the soldiers being on our land and looking for us, searching for us, and it being a dangerous time. Well, folks, those dangerous times are coming and we need to be prepared. We really need to be prepared. I remember, and uh, maybe you, do, you can remember it also, I remember when uh, Red Dawn, the movie Red Dawn, uh, came out and I, can recall talking to several people uh, at the time that that came out and they were saying things like, oh, that could never happen here in the United States. It just couldn't happen. And I said, I saw it happen. It did happen. It will happen. Oh no, our military is this and we have a uh, radar that would, you know, would intercept or catch this or it could never happen. Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, it could. Yes, it can. I think that uh, our arrogance will get us killed. 
okay? Our arrogance in thinking that we are impenetrable, uh, that we can't be sunk. Didn't that happen once before? Hmm. Titanic? We can't think that we are so powerful that nothing can happen to us. We have to be prepared. We do. We have to be prepared. And it can happen. Am I saying I want it to happen? No. But it can happen, and if it does, we need to be ready. I'm not seeing these visions. And please, 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 my, my, uh, my, my family, if you've had these same visions, if you've had these same dreams where you see the soldiers, foot soldiers, walking up and down the streets, in neighborhoods, going door to door, and they, were, they weren't confiscating things, they were picking people up. Or when I said not picking them up like that, but they were, they, were, uh, they were corralling people. Where they were taking them, I don't know. What they were doing with them, I don't know. I was never in that group, never in, that, in, the, in the crowd with the people who were being taken away. We were always covered. We were always hidden. So if you've had these same visions and these same dreams, and I can tell you that many people in my family, without us even discussing it uh, amongst each other, we've had it. We didn't realize until after we, you know, one person started talking about it and was like, oh yeah, I've had that same one too. So many people in my family have had the same vision, dreams. Um, so will it happen? I would say, Yes, it's going to happen. I believe it's going to happen. I don't believe that, uh, I don't think that the Most High gives you uh, the sight without purpose. Everything has a purpose. So I believe that uh, this will happen. When, I don't know but I do believe it will happen. And in the event that you need to leave your home and you need to seek out safety, you can now put together a MRE, several of them, so that if you have to go, you have something set aside that you can grab and go. I want you to be ready. I want you to be ready. We can do this. We can do it together. We can do this. So I will stop for a minute just to stop and think. <laughs> I don't want to forget something. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Um, to all of my subscribers, I want to say thank you very much for becoming part of my family. We're in this together. I want to say thank you for all the new ones that are coming on board. Um, for all of you who have uh, wished me well, who have um, shown so much kindness and support, I, I just love y'all. I just love y'all. I, 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 I can't say thank you enough. I really can't. Um, I just want you to know I really appreciate you. I appreciate all of the comments. Um, I've been trying my best to get to them all and of course it's, it's, it's not something that I'm able to keep up with. There's so many of them that are coming in but if I get an opportunity to I certainly will um, try to uh, respond to you. I love reading through them. I, I do. I'll sit in the bed at night right before I go to bed and I'll go through some of them and if I can respond to them right away then I'll go ahead and respond to them. But I really love hearing from you. So uh, thank you so very much. If you have not uh, subscribed, please consider joining the family. We're one big family here. Um, and if you want to leave a comment and uh, you disagree with uh, someone else who's put a comment in or you have a different idea or viewpoint than they have, all I ask is that you be kind. Because we know the trees by the fruit that they bear. If your fruit is not kind, if your fruit is not respectful, if your fruit is not loving, then your fruit, your tree, 
is not a good tree. And we want you to be good trees. So um, be good. Be loving. Be kind. Be respectful. And as I always say it, I love you. Much love and much respect to you all. Until we meet again. Bye.